And now let us proceed to geometric mean. It is a term between any two terms in geometric sequence. Okay, example tayo. Find the geometric mean between 2 and 8. So, meron tayong formula dyan. We have geometric mean is equal to the square root of the two given term of the sequence. So, ito, 2 and 8. So, 2 times 8. Or, sulat natin siya, square root of A times B. That would be our formula. Multiply natin, 2 times 8, that is 16. Square root of 16, that is 4. So, ganun lang yung geometric mean. I'll try that in other examples. From the geometric sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32, find the geometric mean between the following. First and fifth terms. So, nasa ba si first term? Yan ay 2. At si fifth term, first term, second term, third term, fourth term, and fifth term. 32. So, geometric mean is equal to the square root of the two terms. Multiply 2 times 32. Square root of 2 times 32, 64. And square root of 64, that is 8. So, madali lang siya. Next, 4th and 10th term. So, hanapin natin si 4th term, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, that is 16. 10th term, kunin natin. Hanapin mo natin si 10th term. Apo ay ating gamitin yung formula or mag-multiply na lang tayo ng common ratio dito. So, ang common ratio natin, A2 divided by A1. So, 4 divided by 2. That is 2. So, kunin natin yung next term natin dito. 32 times 2, that is 64. 64 times 2, 128. 128 times 2, that is 256. 256 times 2, 512. Pag ilan na yan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 512 times 2, that is 1024. Yan na ngayon yung 10th term natin. 1024. Now, we have the geometric mean, square root of 16 times 1,024. Multiply natin. 16 times 1,024. So, ano yung product natin? Or, pasin natin na si 16 ay perfect square number. Ganun din si 1,034. So, kunin na lang natin yung square root nito. Kunin natin yung isulat na 16 times square root of 1,024. Square root of 16 times square root of 1,024. Square root of 16 is 4 times square root of 1,024 is 32. So, final answer natin. 4 times 32, that is 128. So, ayan po si geometric mean.